I'm Gavin Sky, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So tonight I've got a pretty special night ahead. We're gonna explore team themed paintings. So this is going to be an acrylic pour, a vinyl sticker of some sort, and then resin. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. It's a lot of fun and I love doing these. So I just thought it would be fun tonight. We have a Green Bay Packers and we have a St. Louis Blues uh, painting to do. So stay tuned, enjoy the ride. Uh, we're also gonna be doing some drinking. Our pregame warm up is Speak of Vodka. Yeah, I usually like uh, six times distilled, a little better, but kind of on a budget. So, it'll work. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me, and let's go. Well, it's a good thing I don't do YouTube stuff professionally. We've got St. Louis Blues, Green Bay Packers. I've got a bunch of friends that are both fans of both of these teams. Doesn't really matter what team you do. Um, the only thing that I've run into a problem with on some of these team themed paintings are the decals themselves because there's a lot of different people that make a lot of different things and some of them are easy to get off and some of them are not easy to get off. I'm doing a direct pour on this canvas so I'm, I'm not doing any kind of base coat. I'm going to try to stay a little light on paint just because my table is so small. I mean, this is the biggest one I've got, but it doesn't have a lot of room left on the edges, I'm afraid to put it full of paint. There's the dark blue. Now, that navy's going to dry a little darker. It'll perfectly match once it dries. Jack messes on the floor, so that's about all I'm worried about right now. We're about good on paint. I don't really want to dump a lot more off. Okay, so uh, direct drop silicone. Surefire. We'll let that do its thing, and then we will move on to Green Bay. Well, oh, St. Louis Blues piece exploded. I'm gonna go with white on the last, so I'll go ahead and do the yellow. And for the final touch. Okay. Here goes nothing. Our team themed paintings are magically dry. Uh, this next part, I'm going to go ahead and put the stickers onto the canvases. So I kind of wanted to go through that process real quick and then we'll move on to uh, resin after this. Guys, this is worse than one of those plastic bags. Oh yeah. All right, I got her. It's pretty good to me. Here you go. Like I said the hardest part's getting those things off. And there it is. There we go. Next stop, resin. 
Hey, uh, welcome back to the third installment of this video, final process of resining these team themed paintings. We have a little bit to go over. I'm gonna try to do it fairly quick. It's pretty simple, basic, straightforward. So just kind of watch and learn, I guess. Um, we are drinking a combination of two different white Zinfandels two different brands, it's kind of mixed together, and I'm probably gonna throw some sweet red in there because whatever. Yeah. Doctor? <laughs> Doctor. Yes, nurse. I'll be right there. So, that was inappropriate. <laughs> I have no room, I need another table. Maybe I should get another table. Bam! Table. Got it. Okay. Cool. Well, I decided to actually mix this sweet red with the Zinfandel. It's kind of like... It's okay. You would think it would be worse, but it's not. Mm. I'm just gonna eyeball this, uh, this resin. I do. I'm probably gonna overpour. I always overpour. Still can't believe Kansas City. I want to see if the ball just blows my mind. Blank postcard here, and it, this just allows me to really move pretty quickly through the, through the piece, leveling it out. I'm gonna work this inside just a little bit. And then I'm going to start working towards the outside and always bring it off a little bit on the edges and just rub that in. Gives it a nice glossy look, seals the sides real well. It'll take a whole lot off. I'm not trying to dump the resin off necessarily. We'll see how it goes. If I pour too much and I got too deep of spots, then I might take some out. This is a, this is a finesse, you know, this is just fluid movement and having a good feel for what's going on. Just little simple things, when you follow a, a simple process, you know, these basic rules with resin, these little things, they just matter so much. You've got to pay attention to them. The thing is, we're going to heat this thing up a little bit, so a lot of this resin is going to flow down, and we might have to actually bring it back up. Simple, but kind of complicated. What's really fun is when you start getting into mixing mica powders and doing all kinds of other things like that. That's where uh, I really like working. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for a second. I've got this extra resin, so I'm gonna go ahead and run into the other studio and do a few coasters with the remaining part of it. But I'll be right back. Oh yeah, here we go, we got a coaster going. St. Louis Blues coaster as well. Isn't that pretty? So yeah. Using a little bit of that that resin I built off just to kind of save it some of it. Oh, there's no oh, look at that. Look what I found. Kansas City. It's Royals. Well, baseball's coming up, so I guess it's going to be the Cardinals again. I do like to listen to. Cardinals game on the radio. Sometimes I like to put my headphones in and go knocking about in the garage doing stuff, manly things, fixing stuff, and sanding stuff, just looking at stuff. But 
So you got a shirt on, you can rub your fingers off of it because the resin is so sticky. If this gets on your, your shirt, then don't get it on anything else. Like make sure you know where this resin's at because this will transfer your couch and your car, you know, it just keeps going. You know, you step on it and then you just track it everywhere. You got a big problem on your hands. more times of clearing up every single time uh, kind of keeping an eye on the sticker making sure it's sticking down not poofing up it's not that's good news still a little cloudy over here on the blues piece just barely though well I think like I said bubbles rise up blow torch it one or two more times maybe three and uh that'll be it so i guess that's the end of the video y'all i was struggling really pretty bad with those stickers that was hilarious i told you some of them are hard to get off some of them are not those were tough pick two wrong ones i guess but um yeah, thanks for joining and um, see you on the next video please like and subscribe to my channel i promise to give you a good time if not you're money back <laughs>